Hi there, Frank here for premium members for the trading day of September 24, 2024, a Tuesday. No new information, also no selling. This is also a situation I wouldn't be surprised if this moved overnight. Look at the chart structure here. And uh, this could break to the upside at any minute. Perhaps we should be already positioned, if not long yet. So consider the four hour chart and make the most of these opportunities. All right, and the others are no different either. There are very slight differences between the three. The NQ is practically the same as the ES. The YM is a little slower perhaps, but that's normal, I think. But this consolidation at this level points to the upside. The RTY, let's have a look at the RTY. No difference. The pullback, but I think as far as the big picture is concerned, I would be, wouldn't be my first choice because the other three perhaps look a little better, especially the ES and the NQ. But if you want, you can also consider this. I think this is a good long here, long setup at this point. All right, let's move on to currencies on which the charts may not look very pretty, but I think on the daily and especially the weekly, the structure is pretty obvious. These are bull flags, which we expect to break to the upside. Sometimes we have to zoom out to have a clear picture. And the choice is always ours if we want to or if we have the resources to trade the structure that we like. And uh, let's also look at the 6B. Here we go. This is already moving on the four hour chart. So for smaller chart traders, this looks obviously better. It's already triggered. And there was another one. The 6N looked good. So there is a long in progress here. Pretty clean trade here on the daily time frame. So look around, the 6A four hour was also moving. There's a little retracement here, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. This is horizontal consolidation, which broke out. Probably is just a little overnight break here, overnight pause here in the action. Otherwise, the trade looks good. Please note the two obvious previous pivots here on the weekly time frame. One is much lower, uh, much nearer here, and the other one is a bit farther away from last uh, December. Okay, moving on to precious metals, no change. Gold, silver, poised to go higher. Gold is already moving. Silver is more subtle compared to gold, remember, and it also has more room to go and an obvious previous high from 10 years ago or 14 years ago, whatever it was, 2011, the $50 high which is uh, probably will start to work as a magnet soon, as soon as we break out from the 33 level. Okay, what else do we have here? Then we have two agriculturals, soya beans, which has already moved. Look at this, another measured move. And corn hasn't moved yet. Last time I checked, there's a long setup here on the daily time frame. So you can treat this as a breakout trade at this point. So the trade would look something like this something like this on the daily time frame. So we have several opportunities for tomorrow. Let's see and let's consider which one we want to participate in. We'll be back in the morning and until then, mindful trading.